Welcome to this tutorial. Let's explore the workspace menu and discover all the amazing features you can use. Join me as we adjust background colors and lighting to set the perfect mood for our designs. Watch as we play with reflections and set up HDR eyes, bringing our creations to life in stunning, realistic environments. At the top, you'll find preset environments. These are pre designed settings that provide different backgrounds and lighting conditions, helping you to quickly set the right atmosphere for your design work. Under, you'll find the custom menu. This section allows you to personalize your workspace further. You can adjust background, gradients, reflections, colors, and select custom HDRIs to create the perfect setting for your designs. Experimenting with the color wheel is a great way to see how background colors and lighting can dynamically change the feel of your workspace. As you adjust the color wheel, watch how the background color shifts, directly impacting the overall ambience and mood of your design space. Toggle shadows on or off within your workspace. This feature allows you to see how shadows interact with your designs and environment, adding a layer of depth and realism to your work. The floor grid feature helps ground your designs in a spatial context. It provides a reference for scale and orientation, making it easier to understand the size and placement of your creations. HDRI, or High Dynamic Range Imaging, is indeed a really cool feature in Gravity Sketch. It allows you to place your objects in lifelike, realistic environments. By using HDRI backgrounds, you can simulate various lighting conditions and atmospheres, giving your designs a sense of depth and realism that's hard to achieve with standard lighting. This feature is particularly useful for visualizing how your creations would look in real-world settings, whether it's an outdoor landscape, an urban setting, or an interior space. It adds a layer of immersion to your design process, helping you and others to better understand how your creations will look and feel in actual environments. You can choose from preset HDRI backgrounds or upload your own for custom environments. A quick tip. Use 2K resolution HDRIs. They provide good quality while being easier on your hardware, ensuring smoother performance. Activate the gumdrop. This aligns the HDRI environment with your 3D space, creating a realistic floor that matches the virtual grid. Use the gumdrop height slider to adjust the height of your environment to ensure your objects are correctly placed on the ground. You have the flexibility to import HDRIs in several ways. From your device or computer, you can import HDRIs directly from your local storage. This is convenient if you have specific HDRIs saved on your device or computer that you want to use in your designs. Landing Pad. Landing Pad is Gravity Sketch's cloud storage system. It allows you to upload and access HDRIs from the cloud, making it easier to manage and use your resources across different devices or when collaborating with others. Organization. By using an organization account, teams can share HDRIs and other assets, ensuring consistency and ease of access across the group. Activating only HDRI reflection. At the top, you can select from various light sources. These choices determine the primary lighting effects in your workspace, affecting how your designs are illuminated. Underneath the light source options, you'll find settings to control the reflections. This feature lets you decide how surfaces reflect light, adding another layer of realism to your designs. Let's check out the zebra stripes, for example. Zebra reflections in Gravity Sketch are a useful tool for analyzing the curvature and smoothness of surfaces in your 3D models. The zebra stripes help you see how even or uneven a surface is. This is particularly useful for designs where precision and smoothness are crucial, such as in automotive or product design. The pattern makes it easier to spot bumps, dents, or imperfections that might not be immediately apparent with standard shading or lighting. Using a gradient effect can add depth, dimension, and visual interest to your designs. Gradients create a smooth transition between colors. This can be used to add realism, create a mood, or highlight certain aspects of your design.
The flashlight in Gravity Sketch is a tool that directs focused light onto specific areas or objects in your 3D scene. This tool is useful for precise lighting control and detailed examination in your 3D designs. Grab and hold the flashlight tool just like you would hold a real flashlight. This allows you to precisely direct the light wherever you need it in your 3D environment for detailed exploration and visualization. The anchor in Gravity Sketch serves a crucial role in flashlight functionality. When the anchor is locked, it ties the flashlight's light source to your model, ensuring that the lighting remains consistent even if you rotate the model. This is useful for maintaining consistent lighting on your design. Conversely, when you unlock the anchor, the flashlight's light source behaves more like natural sunlight. As you rotate the model, the light and shadows dynamically change simulating real-world lighting conditions. This provides a more realistic and dynamic lighting experience in your 3D environment. It's helpful to know that you can use the flashlight tool not only in the default scene, but also in other scenes, as well as in HDRI mode. This versatility allows you to precisely control lighting and explore your designs with flexibility in various contexts. To deactivate the flashlight, simply press the red undo button on your drawing hand controller. This action will turn off the flashlight function and return you to the previous state. In this tutorial, we explored the creative potential of Gravity Sketch's workspace menu. We covered adjusting background colors, fine tuning lighting and reflections, setting up HDRI environments, and experimenting with the flashlight function. Thank you for joining me on this creative journey. See you in the next video.